today I'm going to show you quickly how to install a cassette on a free hub. So here we go, here's the cassette, all in pieces, here's the free hub. So all you do is spin the free hub body and look for the widest line. And then because we never know who the end user is going to be and how they're going to treat the wheel, we grease the splines, basically the free hub body, just so we can prevent uh, any galvanic corrosion for the next guy who has to service it. And believe me, they'll appreciate it. So a lot of cassettes will come with uh, three or four of the cogs all just kind of pin together. And what we do is we look and find the widest male spline and we line it up with the female spline on the free hub body. And it should just slide right down. And then we take a spacer, place it on. Now this is specific to this particular cassette, but they're all pretty much the same. And what we do is we look for the number of teeth on this particular cog. And you'll also see there's a bit of a ramp there. So we look there and you can see on that uh, wide spline, it has the number of teeth. And of course you would just line them up consecutively. So if that's a 16 tooth, you would then grab a spacer, place it on, and then grab the next cog down. Let's call that a I guess that's a 16 tooth, so the other one would have been an 18 tooth. So let's say this is a 16. And again, another spacer. We'll grab the, the next smallest one down. So we're, we're hoping for a 15 tooth. So let's call that a 15. Well, that would probably be a 13. And then we have this last one with the built-in spacer, and that's either gonna be a 12 or an 11 tooth. And that one will fit on. And everything should be spaced out perfectly. There should be a, a tiny little lip there. And that is going to be where we place the cassette lock ring. And then we grab our cassette tool, go place it in the lock ring, hold everything down, line up the threads properly. For the most part, you don't need to go much tighter than a few clicks. But depending on the end user, you're probably going to want to do just a bit more. So just give it a bit more torque. Don't really need a torque wrench, although it says there's a certain amount of Newton meters of torque you should use. As long as it's on there pretty tight, it should be good enough. There we have it. We have our cassette installed. And I hope this video helps you out. If you want to see other things I've done with this particular wheel, you can click right here.